uh, in my inaugural speech last week, I said that we want to build a city that makes every single South African, no matter where you live, whether you're a Cape Tonian or not, proud uh, and instill a sense of hope about the very best that our country is capable of, that shows what South Africa can do, that the sense of anxiety and uh, nervousness or worry that we all feel about the direction of our country under the ANC is not inevitable and that it can be turned around with good, committed government that is committed to doing the right thing for uh, the public and in service of the public. And the way that we are going to do that in Cape Town is by filling the void, the space left by the collapsing, slow burn collapse of the South African police service and doing more to keep our communities safe by investing in our successful law enforcement uh, program, deploying thousands of law enforcement officers onto the street and making people feel safer. By working very hard over the coming years, and that, that work has started already, to end load shedding in Cape Town, to be the first place in the country that is free of load shedding. And I know my colleague Giesi is giving me daggers behind because we're in a dead heat race to, to see who can do it first, but I'm afraid uh, it's going to be us. Uh, and then to, to, to fight for greater control over the public rail system, which has collapsed under Prasa, who's just had another CEO suspended. We know that the only way to un undo the legacy of the Group Areas Act over time is to have a functioning, safe, reliable, fast, affordable rail system in our metros across the country, and that will not happen under Prasa. To improve basic services, particularly for those living in poverty and the most vulnerable residents of our city by investing in infrastructure that is necessary to support growth and making sure, as John says, that every person in their life feels and sees and knows the DA difference. By making Cape Town the easiest place on the African continent to do business and invest. By cleaning up our city with clean waterways, rivers, communities and streets. And lastly, Again, by ensuring that we can, over time, unstitch the legacy of, of the Group Areas Act by advancing our public housing program and using state-owned land where we have it to release for more affordable housing and social housing for Capetonians. In this way, ladies and gentlemen, we will build a city of hope and a city that can make every South African uh, proud and can show the way that a future of inclusivity and care and mutual respect and shared prosperity is still possible in South Africa. Thank you.